I prepared a uh, chicken veggie soup so it's got 300 grams of celery 500 grams of carrots um, a can of the Campbell's uh, cream of chicken condensed soup and then two liters not two liters one liter four cups four cups of um, the what's it called the Campbell's reduced sauce store uh, reduced salt chicken stock I think it is um, so four cups of that and then some garlic powder and pepper and so that should make about five big serves of soup so that's like two cups per serve so like proper size um, and that should be about five smart points per serve four or five I think I have to double check um, but I've really kind of been craving like chicken soup so oh and there's a there's a 250 gram chicken breast in there that I'll shred later so I'll see how that goes um, if I need it creamier I might add something later and bump up the smart points but um, it'll depend how it tastes as well so I'll check that in about four hours um, in the oven I currently have a tray of uh, Kent pumpkin roasting that's for dinner sides for me for this week and I have the chicken thighs defrosting um, for dinner tonight we're having teriyaki chicken burgers and then over here I have I don't want to remove the lid because it'll ruin the stewing but I've got eight apples stewing over here and I added this um, this uh, what's it called spice mix to it which is um, basically a pumpkin spice mix it's made up of like cinnamon and nutmeg and that sort of thing so adds a nice taste and I think that's all I've got going yeah I was basically trying to pass time until lunchtime because I'm kind of hungry and I haven't eaten yet lunch today is uh, two um, chicken sandwiches with the sandwich thing so there's uh, on each one is a sandwich thin, half a serve of light cream cheese, chipotle sauce, uh, sweet chili sauce, and 80 grams of chicken. I have two of those. Um, so that's something like 14 to 16 points. I've written down, but I can't remember off the top of my head. And so that's a pretty big lunch. That's normally kind of the size of my dinner, but... I've got a pretty low pointed dinner plan, so I'm gonna bulk up on lunch. We just got back from Cartel in the supermarket. We got a coffee, and we also. I've put some stuff away, but um, I left some of it out to show you guys. So this week for lunches, I'm gonna try do, apart from today, because I needed to use up some of the sandwich thins, I'm gonna try and make rice paper rolls. So I've got some rainbow coleslaw for that capsicum we've got chicken in the fridge and for the I think we're gonna make soba noodles and wrap those so that'll be fun to try um, I bought a packet of cauliflower rice because we're doing Buddha bowls tomorrow um, and we've got a teriyaki chicken tonight so I'll use that and we have a bangers and mash night next Tuesday, I think it is. So I've got pork chipolatas. It's two for f five, four. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head, but they're really good anyway. They're super tasty. Um, and Mr. Moose is gonna have just a regular beef sausages with his. I bought some of the Philly snack tubs. Um, the soup I made, the chicken and veggie soup, has taco seasoning in it, and we used a different one than we normally use, and it actually turned out super spicy. So I'm going to put in um, some cream cheese into each serve as we heat them up, because then it's a little less spicy for us. Because we like spice, like I can, I like adding spice to stuff, but not that much. So I've got some of the regular uh, light snack tubs some herb and onion snack tubs and the extra light spreadable so that's probably what we're going to add to the soup and this is actually from last week but we put it in the cupboard and forgot about it so I'm adding it into this week's bowl so that I can actually drink some tonight diet ginger beer I'm pretty sure that's zero 
Um, I just got one can of salmon because I've still got one in the fridge. I'm probably going to use this for tomorrow's Buddha bowl um, along with the four bean mix and the um, salt, no salt added corn kernels. And I'll also use these in my chicken taco balls on Monday, um, Sunday and Monday, which are having. And then the last thing I got was cereal, and I really don't get cereal very often. We don't, uh, Mr. Moose eats cereal every day, but I hardly ever eat cereal. And if I do, it's because I'm craving it, and then I have like three boxes, and then I don't have it again for months. But someone told me that um, Cheerios were quite low in smart points. And it looks like one whole cup of Cheerios is only three or four smart points. That seems really good. <laughs> so I thought that'd be a nice snack. I wanted the honey Cheerios, but they only came in like a massive pack that was like that much bigger. And because I eat cereal so slowly, I didn't think I'd finish it before I went stay. But yeah, so I'm going to try that. If it needs to be a bit sweeter, I can always add some sugar-free maple syrup. And for the milk to eat my cereal... I just got some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Um, I think their packaging has changed because I don't remember this bright pink bit. But I used to get unsweetened vanilla and then they took it out off the shelves at our supermarket for a while. And then I just stopped getting milk. So it looks like it's back but in different packaging. For lunch today I am having two sandwiches. Uh, there's half a slice of cheese in each. Um, 40 grams of chicken breast and sweet chili and um, pepper and chipotle sauce so that's 15 smart points for that there's we're gonna have one mandarin each and I have another coffee dinner tonight is rice paper rolls it's the first time I've made them and wrapped them and they're actually quite easy to do the main thing though is that they stick together at the end so that's kind of a challenge to pull apart. So for four rice paper rolls stuffed full of veggies and chicken um, and uh, like a couple of strands of soba noodles, that's nine smart points. Um, and then I've got two serves of sweet chili sauce, which is three points. And I have a cup of pumpkin, which is zero points. And I made Mr. Moose some rice paper rolls to try. I think they look quite tasty. Today's lunch is a snack plate basically. I've got two dates cut up, a serve of the Harvest Snap Pea Crisps for three points, a serve of the Kettle Salted Caramel Popcorn for two points, and then five, ten points uh, is for the, is that ten points? Yeah, ten points is for the um, two barley wraps and inside the wraps is a serve of cream cheese, um, a serve of um, chipotle sauce and two serves of turkey. So it's I've just like rolled it all and cut it up. Dinner tonight was supposed to be a Buddha bowl but my cauliflower rice had gone off. So instead I kind of made a salad-y sort of thing. I have a cup of baby spinach at the bottom and a cup and a half of roasted pumpkin that I prepped a few days ago. I also have uh, four pork chipolatas cut up on top and a quarter of a green capsicum and one persimmon. So that's the persimmon there. I'm, I've never really eaten fruit in salads before but I thought it might be interesting to have the person and the pork together so it's all in there and just some uh, mixed coleslaw on top and all together uh, I think this is actually just 11 smart points because I think it's just the the sausages that get counted lunch is a much anticipated event today because we just did our 15k bike ride and my butt hurts and food helps. Excuse me, miss, sir. Um, so I've got four rice paper rolls, so that's one point for each roll. And then inside is um, two pieces of capsicum, a handful of coleslaw, like a rainbow coleslaw, and then 
I mixed a can of salmon and a can of sweet chili tuna together. Um, so that's three points. And then I divided that between each roll. So, uh, and also a serve of sweet chili sauce. So all together that is eight, eight or nine points, I think. And I've also got a glass of diet ginger beer, which is one point. Tonight's dinner is 13 smart points. It is a corn and four bean mix mixture that I simmered on the stove with about a quarter of a pack of taco seasoning. And then I added about a cup of my roasted pumpkin and also a serve of um, the Philly light cream cheese. And then there's um, oh wait, no, it's 14 smart points because I also added chipotle sauce on top. But the chicken is crispy chicken from the crispy chicken taco kit, but without the taco, obviously. Um, and then I've also got um, one rice paper roll from lunch that I hadn't finished yet, so I'll eat that as well. I'm starting off my Monday morning with a breakfast. It's just after 10 o'clock. Um, because I need to finish working on my assignment, which hopefully I can get done by lunchtime. Um, but I need a little bit of brain power, so I'm having a banana, which is zero points. And I have my last, um, barley wrap here. The wrap is three points. There's two, uh, leftover pork chipolatas in here, which is five points. I'm having kind of a weird late lunch thing. It's almost three o'clock. I have half a serve of my chicken veggie soup, which is a lot, it's like a cup, um, with um, half a serve of cream cheese, and so it's kind of like taco-y flavoured now, which is really delicious and warm. And I've also got some more tea. My dinner tonight is 14 smart points, um, one for some chipotle sauce, and then... Um, Two smart points for a serve of light cream cheese, a cup and a half of pumpkin, which is zero, um, my corn and bean mix, which is four, um, a serve of the crispy chicken from the crispy chicken tacos, which is, I don't remember off the top of my head, um, but all together it's 14 smart points. Here is a little grocery haul. Um, this is just the Weight Watchers sort of friendly stuff that I picked up. So we went to Coles instead of Woolworths. Um, I was able to pick up this Simply Less Dark Chocolate with Peppermint and also the No Added Sugar Dark Chocolate with Orange. Um, these I've heard are really quite tasty um, and good for a little chocolate fix. And I think that only you get like, I think that much. And it's something, it's like three or four points. Three points I think for one bar. So you get quite a lot of chocolate. So I thought I'd like to taste that. Um, I also picked up some of the reduced fat slices. These are two for three points, I think it is. Um, a half a camp pumpkin, which is free. A pack of turkey breast, which is, I think it's just two, two serves. Yeah, two serves. So, um, one serve is like a point, I think, which is very low. Uh, some rainbow coleslaw for our rice paper rolls that we're going to make for lunch at some point this week and also two boxes of fiber bars, lemon drizzle which is my favorite and the chocolate which is also pretty good. Um, I got a pack of the Jack Link's teriyaki beef jerky. I've not tasted the teriyaki flavor yet so I wanted to try that. Oh and the the fiber one bars are four each, four smart points each. The beetroot um, coleslaw is zero and the jerky is normally three points for half a bag. Um, I got some of this small stand and stuff whole grain taco books. I'm going to try and make like um, something similar to like a shepherd's pie in them because that kind of sounds tasty to me. Um, and they are two points each. And then I found a low fat cream caramel soleil at Coles. They don't have cream caramel at Bullworths. They only have chocolate mousse. So I picked up both of those. So I'm super excited about having those for dessert. And um, packet of rye wraps. I wanted the sweet potato ones but they didn't have a very big selection of wraps at Coles so I just got these which are two smart points each and two persimmons um, 
plus and minus zero points. I got um, <clears throat> the big container because they didn't have any individual portion sachets of the Jara hot chocolate salted caramel. Um, a few people have mentioned this to me saying that it's like it's quite thick and tasty and it's only I think two points for a serve so I think I might like to try that. And we found some uh, light Thai sweet chili sauce which is less than five calories per serve which makes it zero points for up to 50 grams which is really exciting. Um, I'm really keen to see what the flavor is like because it's got artificial sweeteners in it instead of um, regular sugar so if this works then I should change to this instead of using Master Foods because Master Foods is um, I think it's two points for the amount that I use. I use quite a lot when I use it. So, And then the last thing I picked up was in the health food aisle, the, the Mami rice chips. They're just like knockoff Pringles, but they're gluten free. I didn't realize they were gluten free when I bought them. I just wanted like knockoff Pringles. Um, and they're pretty high in points. It's five points for about a quarter of the tube. Um, which is how many grams? 28 grams. So I had, I was really hungry in the car, so I had a, um, a serve in the car. And they, they actually taste fine, like they taste like Pringles. The texture's not weird or anything, so. And I don't actually know how different Pringles are in points, but that might be interesting to check, actually. Because maybe Pringles aren't as bad anyway. Lunch today is some kettle salted caramel popcorn, a banana. Um, half a serve of chicken veggie taco soup and some tea and all together this is that six smart points and this is two so eight smart points here is my dinner for 13 points I've got a tiny little bit of the um, new sweet chili sauce and chipotle sauce as well and I have a slice of bacon two pork chipolatas uh, two serves of cauliflower rice because I'm and I kind of feel like I want to eat a lot of bulk, so cauliflower rice it is. And um, my bean and corn taco mix, and that's the last one I have. So this is all together, I think I said 13 smart points. And it's, um, it's a big bowl as well, it's a dinner size bowl, so that will be very filling. Today's lunch is a snack plate. I have a serve of this uh, kettle salted caramel popcorn for two points. <laughs> a orange dark chocolate um, Coles bar from uh, for three points, two dates for zero points and then there's two mountain wraps and turkey and uh, peronese and cream cheese for I want to say eight or nine points. Okay my dinner ended up being 14 points so there's the Chicken risotto, which is super bland and there's hardly any chicken in it. So I added a cup of cauliflower that's been kind of mashed up with um, a third serving of tasty cheddar shredded cheese. And I also added in a can of salmon that's been cooked with a quarter cup of egg whites. And then I mix that in as well. Uh, just for some extra protein and bulk and then I covered it with pepper and chipotle sauce and I tasted it and it's still bland so I added two-thirds of a serve of saute sauce and hopefully that will do. Hi guys! Today is Thursday which makes it weigh-in day. It is weigh-in day for week five of Weight Watchers and I am proud to announce that I managed to lose 1.1 kilograms this week. So that's the upper end of losing weight um, for me. Normally it's like 700 grams. And so I'm really, really happy. Um, especially as I didn't do as much walking this week. Um, I definitely did a lot more yoga over walking. So um, it was a pleasant surprise. I was hoping for, you know, obviously, as much weight loss, but um, I, I've, I haven't been um, saying, like, I need to lose weight, X weight, every week because then I might get disappointed and then I'll not want to continue. So I think it's really good that I just say, you know, I hope I lose weight because I've been following the program and if I do, it's great. And if I don't, well, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Hopefully not for a while. Um, so, 
I have my notes. So uh, I weighed in at minus 1.1 kilograms, which makes my total loss for the last seven weeks, because I started uh, dieting this time around two weeks before I started Weight Watchers. So the total loss from that is 5.4 kilograms, which is 11.88 pounds. But since I started Weight Watchers, which is five weeks ago, I've lost 4.3 kilograms, which is 9.46 pounds. So I'm getting really close to my 500, uh, not my 500, my five kilo loss, which is really exciting. I am hoping that next week's weigh-in, week six weigh-in, I'll be able to um, hit that five kilogram loss for Weight Watchers. I think I should be able to as long as I stay on program and if I don't it will be very close so um, that's all I can hope for and um, if I do 4.3 if I do manage to hit that 5 kilo weight loss then I will officially be under the I'll officially have made the goal I set for myself to lose the six kilos in um, the 12 weeks of having my subscription to Weight Watchers. So that'll be good and it'll be um, exactly halfway that I make it which is really exciting. Okay so last week's goals um, included getting my blue dot every day. I did that, I managed that. There were a couple of days there are a couple of days where I got less than 30. My allowance is 32. No, my allowance is 30. 30 points a week, plus 42 weeklies. So I my, my blue dot range is between 27 and 37 points. And there were a couple of days where I got under 30. And there were a, there were a couple of days where I was over 35. And then the rest of the time is always just between that. So I don't seem to really have a problem sticking to the blue dot. I find it's a really good um, range to let me have a treat if I feel like I really want to have extra treats. So that's good. Um, my goal was to, my water goal was to increase to three liters a day, uh, which I successfully did five days out of seven. Um, I only got two liters for the first two days and then I downloaded an app which tracks your water for you because I was just like marking it down on a piece of paper and sometimes I would forget to mark it down and sometimes I would mark down um, the wrong size cup and things like that and so I drink everything to make it a lot easier for myself I just drink out of these these tumblers are 450 milliliters um, so it's it makes it a lot easier so I just drink uh, basically six of these and then the seventh one I you know drink anywhere from all of it to half of it um, before I go to bed so that makes it a lot easier for me and then I got the uh, uh, just some random free app that will track water and that way because I always have my phone with me it's a lot easier to just put it in while I'm drinking it so that's really helped. Um, so I I had a veggie goal of three veggies serves per day. I managed this five out of seven days. Two days, um, which was the first day and the last day, I only managed to get two servings of veggies for each day. But all other days I got three servings or more. Um, so I'm proud of myself for that. And the thing that I cooked um, new was a chicken and veggie soup and then after I cooked it I realized that it was kind of bland so I started adding seasoning to it and then I put in half a bag of half a pack of taco seasoning and then it was too hot <laughs> so um, I then added cream cheese to it and it was perfect and then I realized it just tasted like chicken cheese chili soup which is my favorite soup, um, except it had more veggies and less beans, basically. So 
I'm still counting it as a new recipe, but really just tasted like one of my normal recipes. Um, my going into fitness stuff, uh, I got, I didn't do so well fitness wise, I guess, kind of. Um, I got, every day I got at least my daily minimum steps, which is 5,000 steps. And one day I got 6,000 steps and one day I did over 10,000 steps. That's the day where I did a 6k walk on the treadmill, a walk run on the treadmill. And then all the other days were incidental plus, um, like I took a dog for a walk or I did a short walk outside or I did a short treadmill walk, something like that. Um, but I didn't get my three six kilometer walks. I just did the one. And the reason behind that was because I actually, after my six kilometer jog walk on the treadmill, that night I was having some issues with my ankle and I also bruised my toe kicking a ball for Tilly. So I, it was painful to get my shoe on and I didn't want to make it worse by walking on it. Um, and then my ankle, uh, like six or seven times that night, well, probably in the space of about three hours while, while I was in the kitchen doing stuff, my ankle would give away, give way with this really sharp pain to the point where I would like cry out and fall over. Like it was really painful. But then like maybe, you know, 10 seconds later when I would very gingerly try to put weight on it, it was fine and nothing hurt. And I like poked and prodded and it, and it looked fine. And Mr. Moose had a look and it looked fine. So it was really weird and I don't really know what that is. Um, I do know it happened to my knee once about a year ago when we were walking the dogs at the Oval and um, it, it hurt so badly and like I felt like my knee like dislocated itself and it looked very, it looked a little bit weird but then it was fine the next day so I don't know what, it, I don't know what that is. Um, so I'm just, I just wanted to take it easy. <coughs> Excuse me. I just wanted to take it easy after that. I didn't want to like damage anything accidentally. Last year when I started running, I got into it so quickly because I was so motivated to do catch to 5k and I ended up getting shin splints so badly. Like I couldn't walk for like six months after without getting shin pain. And so, so I don't want that to happen again. So I'm just taking it easy. So I dropped back down to walking and, um, I think I'm just too heavy to run and not get that pain yet. I think, and also cause I have completely flat feet, but I'm going to maybe wait until I'm lighter to start jogging and running again. And maybe by then there won't be so much stress on my bones and it won't be so bad. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, so I didn't get all my walks in, but I did get in my 15 kilometer bike ride with Mr. Moose. It was so much fun and it was so tiring and it took an hour and 15, 10 or 15 minutes, I think. But we found a really good path from our house to the river. Along the river, there's a bridge that we ride over and then ride all the way back. And that was exactly 15 kilometers, maybe like 300. No. It was like 80 meters extra so that's that can be 15 kilometers and so um it's perfect it's a perfect length of time to go riding any further and i think um i probably would have wanted to stop for like drink breaks and stuff like that like this we just kind of went we i think we just stopped once when mr moose um dropped by the bathrooms to go to the toilet but otherwise i think we pretty much went the whole way and uh, so I'm not going to increase to 20 kilometers. I'm going to stay at 15 kilometers and we're going to try to do that this week as well on either Saturday or Sunday, depending on the weather. Um, and my 30 days of yoga, I was going to start 30 days of yoga and a 30 day planking challenge. My planking challenge, I'm not doing specifically apart from yoga. The plan was originally to do it separate from yoga, but I realized since I've done the first seven days of yoga, there is so much planking in there. I don't need to do a separate planking challenge. I'm just going to get really sore if I do that. So I've been doing my 30 days of yoga with Adrian. It is so enjoyable and it helps me relax. I look forward to it. I do it just before bed. Mr. Moose joined in, I think, the first two nights. And then since then, he's just been watching me from the couch. <laughs> and I can't seem to motivate him to join in, but... 
that's up to him. Um, and every day I'm finding it easier to do certain poses. I feel like I'm getting a good stretch and it's just making me really happy and I'm looking forward to the next week as well. So out of my 74 fit points, I managed to get 102 fit points, which is fantastic. I think I managed to get that by Sunday or Monday, I think it was. So I was impressed by myself. Um, and then I have three non-scale victories this week. Um, one that I managed to run on the treadmill and I don't mean jog I mean like run like full-on run 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 I didn't even know I could do that but I managed to do that although I'm not going to do it again for a while um, another the second thing is I've noticed that my t-shirts are all like looser fitting when I wear them and so that's really nice um, I pretty much live in like pajama pants and jumpers normally um, because I don't go out very often and I prefer comfort over style. Um, otherwise I'm in like um, like athletic like leggings and stuff so I can go walking and all that. So I don't wear a lot of casual things other than that. And so when I did put a t-shirt on I was like, oh, it actually fits a lot nicer around my waist and it's like more comfortable. So that's really good. And the last thing is I was really surprised with myself for not giving up this week. Um, in terms of, not in terms of food, because I didn't feel like I, I don't feel like it's hard to do the food portion of Weight Watchers. I feel like it's the easiest diet ever. Um, what I, what I was proud of myself for was not giving up on the exercise part. Like I kept walking, um, and I kept doing yoga, and I actively had like three or four days where I was like, I'm so stressed last year I would have just done something um, more comforting to me at the time like reading a book or watching a movie or having a nap and this time I'm actively saying no I'm gonna exercise because it might be hard now but I'll feel so much better afterwards I'll feel so much prouder of myself and I'll have achieved something that I wanted to set out to achieve and I'm actually doing that so I'm finding that really really exciting being able to see my progress in that way and yeah so it was really my way of managing stress this week I had a little bit of uni stress but not much um, but I had a lot of like uh, family stress this week and so it was it's really been helpful especially the yoga to help with dealing with that and I'm just really wrapped with myself that I could keep it going and keep the momentum and I feel like I have really tangible ways of dealing with stress now so I'm really happy about that. Okay, so um, the goals for week six, which started today, this is day one, um, obviously to get my blue dots every day, get my three liters of water every day. Um, I'm gonna try again for three serves of veggies today because I didn't do it last week completely So I'm gonna try again this week um, The new thing I'm gonna cook is a apple stewed apple and persimmon Pie and that's for this Sunday because it's Mother's Day. We have a um, Family Mother's Day gathering on Mr. Moose's side, which is just down the road from my house. So um, that's what I'm gonna bring and I am also going to get all my daily steps. I want to get all my daily steps for May because I don't think I've ever had a month, an entire month where I've gotten all my daily steps. Um, I'm gonna, I want to get in the 15 kilometer bike ride this weekend. I want to keep going with my yoga challenge every day and uh, my fit points haven't changed. So it's still whatever out of 74 fit points. So obviously I want to get all my fit points. And then the one goal that I set for myself that is not specific to food or exercise is to try to get out of bed earlier. Um, I've been having a lot of trouble sleeping lately. Um, sleep is usually the first thing that kind of gets affected when I'm stressed. So um, I'm trying to sleep a little bit earlier and wake up a little bit earlier. 
and today uh, I completely slept in until 8.30 and I didn't get out of bed till 9.30. I was snuggling the dogs and I was on my phone and I was just like, I was just really tired. Um, I just felt like mentally really tired. But then I got up and I got on the treadmill and I got my steps in and had a shower and I feel so much better for having done that. So I'm going to try get up earlier, get on the treadmill, get my steps so I can get my day going. And then that way, you know, at least I've got, at least I've got that going for me every morning and it should help. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, we went grocery shopping the other day, so I think I've got um, all the snacks, like all the packets for the snacks that I want to make a video for, for Weight Watchers um, snacks here. And I think that's it. Oh, and then I've also got a video I'm thinking of making for um, how I have my planner working with uh, fitness and food and stuff but I'm not so sure about that because it's a little bit personal but we'll see okay so um, I will see you guys next Thursday well I guess Friday for you when it goes up um, I hope everyone is doing well I really look forward to watching people's updates um, on YouTube so yeah if you want to um, watch my journey as it progresses please feel free to subscribe um please feel free to comment if you guys have anything to say as well like i know there's not many people watching but if you do have any questions feel free to ask i'll probably answer it unless it's really personal or not a question and a rude comment that occasionally sometimes people leave for no apparent reason um and yeah other than that um I hope everyone has a good week and good luck for Mother's Day this weekend and good luck to me as well because I'm, I actually have no idea what kind of food we're having so I can't pre-plan and this will be the first occasion where I can't pre-plan a day so we'll see how that goes. Okay, bye!